Hey Jams! Welcome back to my channel, Crystal Heart. My name is Crystal and today we are going to be making a quilt. Alright, before we get into the video, y'all hit the thumbs up button. Also, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you can be notified whenever I post videos and whenever I go live which is 7 p.m. Central on Friday evenings. So I've been needing to make a quilt. Uh, actually I've been needing to make two baby quilts but this one is the first that I'm making. So I need to make a baby boy quilt and I did make a post in the Facebook group. If you're not a part of the Facebook group the link is down below. I made a post in the Facebook group asking y'all for opinions and that was a while ago. <laughs> And y'all all had some very cute quilts, and uh, I kind of went with one suggestion, kind of didn't, but you guys will see. Th then we're going to do some fabric selections, and then put the pattern together. And the pattern is a free pattern, so I'll have it linked down below, and I can talk about whatever, because it's free. But the pattern will be linked down below. Okay, so when... oh. I know y'all see my snacky dackies, but when I was going through Facebook, I was looking at all the quilts, the baby quilts that you guys posted, and y'all posted some really cool quilts. The one that caught my eye was this quilt by Heather, and it caught my eye because I was like, okay, it's a cute quilt. It seems very quick and easy to come together. And so I decided to click on the link that she provided. And it was Amy Smart Diary of a Quilter. Well, as I was going through, she had this picture of these two quilts and a link to get to it. So I clicked on that and decided to do this one. The Lone Star Baby Quilt. And the reason why I'm showing you on my phone is because the picture didn't print out on when I printed it. Because this is a blog. She has all the dimensions in, in how to do everything in the blog. But if you want an actual pattern, um, you have to purchase it from her for $3. But the blog tells you exactly how to make the quilt. So she's just saying if you need an actual pattern... Uh, a printable version it's three dollars otherwise you can just follow the instructions on the blog so I'll link that blog down below and here's me where I printed the instructions and it seems like it's gonna come together super quick so that is what we're gonna be doing but I need to pick out some light colored fabric and the colors are going to go on the star, which I think is just going to be variations of blue, maybe turquoise or blue green. Eight, okay, I need eight squares of light colored print. Eight dark color, which is just the inside. And then the border, which I might do my own type of border. So I'm going to go look into fabric and then I'll come back and let y'all know what fabric. I've decided on and then we can start cutting okay y'all so I've picked fabrics I'm not completely happy with my fabric choices but I don't I, I just don't have anything else to work with and now I'm realizing that I don't have a lot of baby boy type fabrics okay so this cut here actually was a one yard cut that I got from the craft thrift it was packaged oh I'm just realizing it's cotton and steel from 2015 so this is an old cotton and steel why does that make me not want to use it now from uh, cotton and kite so if you don't know cotton and steel is now Ruby Star Society so um so I was thinking about using this as the backing but this may not be the backing. I don't know, to be honest. I will think about it. And then the front, I needed eight different prints for the front. And I had this green, I don't know where it comes from. 
the problem that I was had coming across was that the blocks have to be cut in 10 inch squares and a lot of my fabric is very scrappy and I can't get a full 10 inches out of it so that's what narrowed down my search alright I have this blue which is a free spirit fabric not exactly sure I know it came in a scrap pack I think I got from somewhere I had this solid blue um this green polka dot which apparently came from Walmart Artacraft Thrift I have this blue fat quarter which came from Joann's I had this navy polka dot this light blue polka dot I don't know if it fits in or not and then I had this green another one I think came from a scrap pack what is this uh... something treasures Riley Blake so it's a blue and green moment I don't know how I feel about it but I think I'm just gonna roll with it for now and if I don't like it then um oh well I guess alright so let's get to cutting this fabric Okay, y'all, so I have all the squares cut out, and I think the next step is that I need to cut these squares in half diagonally. Yeah, all the 10 inch squares I need to cut in half diagonally, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then after that, it's all about placement. I'm going to put it on the design wall so I can see how everything looks and then sew it together and that's pretty much it so after I cut these up and get them on the design board I'm gonna show it to y'all on the design board and then we're gonna sew it all together alright y'all so this is it all put together uh, one of my green fabrics wasn't wide enough so I added in another navy fabric but I'm looking at it and I'm really just not feeling it I don't like the green so I'm going to take out the green and look for a different shade of blue, I think, and then do that. So, <laughs> I got to go look for some more fabric, but I'm just not feeling the green and I don't want to go with it. So, I'll be back once I figure that out. Alright, y'all, so I replaced uh, the two green sections with gray, but... I'm still not feeling something about it. Something about the colors are not speaking to me. But I'm just going to go ahead and sew it all up anyway. Alright. See you at the sewing machine. Alright y'all, so a lot has apparently changed since 
the last time I showed y'all. I ended up putting this border on, which y'all will see in the final product. But apparently I just completely forgot to record that I was making this name to applique. So I just basically took some fabric, put some heat and bond on the back, went on my computer and typed that out, printed it. Okay, hold on. I'll show y'all. I typed the name out on a Google Doc, printed it out, you know, chose a font, made it big, printed it out. And then I took the fabric with the heat and bond, laid it on top of this sheet on my light pad, um, and traced it. So then I cut it out as you can see and now I just have to peel the paper off the back iron it on and I'll be done with the top we gotta find a backing so let's get it added on Alright, so I ironed it down, and with heat and bond, you iron it down, and then I'm going to top stitch all around the edge of everything. And then I'll be done with the top. So I'll come back afterwards and show y'all the completed top, and um, once I find a backing, so we can make a quilt sandwich. Alright y'all, so I finished the top. Um, I have the border. And I applique the name on, so I finished applicating the name on. And I think it's about 40, um, 43 inches maybe. The borders uh, were three and a half inches unfinished. Now they're three inches. So I think the quilt is 43 inches square. So I was trying to think of backing and what I wanted to do. So I, I decided to go to Joann's and see if I could find some backing fabric. I found a couple of options, so I'm going to show them to you, and then I guess I'm going to decide which one to use. Okay, so my thought was that I would use a flannel. So I got this flannel, which is a, a gray gingham, gray and white gingham. And I think it will be really cute. So I bought this, but then I was looking at the remnant section. And in the remnant section... They had some minky, and it is a little, it's like a yard and a quarter. And I got it for $5 because in the remnant section of Joann's, it's 50% off of whatever the regular price is. But if that fabric happens to be on sale, then you get the sale, and then you get 50% off of that sale price. So minky was on sale for 50% off. So I got it 50% off and then another 50% off because it was a remnant. So $5 for this. And so I need to decide between the two. I'm not sure if this is even big enough. So I think I need to figure out if it's big enough. If it's a big enough piece, this may be my first time trying Minky. If it's not a big enough piece, we're going to go with the flannel. All right. And Minky scares me, y'all. People keep saying, it's not that bad, it's not that bad, but it does scare me. Alright, so I'm going to see if it's big enough. It's looking like it might not be. Okay, I feel like it's a little too close. I'm not sure how Minky works and if, um, it, like, if it's supposed to stretch and then sew it or you're not supposed to stretch it. Because it's stretchy and it can make the whole quilt if it was stretchy. But I don't know if you're supposed to do that, so maybe I shouldn't try yeah I'm not gonna try with that but I do have another baby quilt that I have to do and um, and if it's any smaller than this one then maybe I could use this piece I don't know but I'm gonna go ahead and use the flannel so I need to base the quilt and then I don't know how I'm going to quilt it um, Generally, I would do some hand quilting, at least some hand quilting, and then some machine quilting, or I'll do all hand quilting. 
but in this case I don't know what I'm gonna all right so I'm gonna go base the quilt then we're gonna talk about how I'm quilting it and then we'll figure it all out from there okay so if if you've seen any of my basting videos well I have a, a video on how I glue based and use spoon noodles so you would know that I'm a glue baster and I'm a school glue baster I use school glue pool noodles and iron but when we moved to this spot I did not take my pool noodles or at least I lost them somewhere so I don't have pool noodles but it's just a baby quilt so I can easily work it out without the pool noodles with bigger quilts it's a little bit harder all right, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'll just I do all my basting on the floor. If it's a you know a bigger quilt, I'm always on the floor. Wall size quilts I can do on the table, but I'm gonna do this one on the floor. So y'all, I'll just let y'all see. <laughs> I just want to be honest I am cutting it super close with the, the width of my backing and my batting um, when I do baby size quilts sometimes I do cut it super close with the sizing because I don't want to do a pieced backing and I'm okay with that but I know it might freak some other people out so just letting y'all know <laughs> base it up love the ease of glue basting and um, so now I just got to quilt it up I think what I'm gonna do is do very minimal hand quilting by just echoing the entire star but then do machine quilting down the center of the star do some kind of I don't know so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so I'm gonna go ahead and get the quilting done and then I gotta find some binding I never thought about that. Then I gotta find some binding. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I am done with the quilting on this quilt. I um, I did a few straight line quilting, and then I did I outlined the star with um, big stitch hand quilting. So I'll go a little closer so you can see. So I kind of echoed the star with the hand quilting and then you can see some straight line quilts because I just went all the way across um I pretty much just went like in asterisks with the quilting so this is not heavily quilted which is what I wanted I wanted to be more um squishy and soft rather than stiff and I wanted to go with a darker blue for the binding so I ended up choosing that same polka dot that same dark polka dot so I made my binding already I just have to trim the quilt attach the binding and then I'll hand um, sew the binding to the back of the quilt and it'll be done um, I'll show y'all the back of the quilt is the the gray gingham and you can see the hand 
quilting in there not really well but anyway <laughs> that's it so uh, yeah I'm gonna go trim up the quilt and attach the binding and that will be it for this quilt <laughs> another quilt done well partially done because I didn't finish my binding but I wanted to get this video out um, I wanted to get this video out so I decided to record the outro but other than that we are done the binding is almost done I have less than half of it to go so I'll finish that tonight so that hubby can give this to his friend So, um, basically, this quilt, I'm going to put the quilt on the wall so y'all can see it all the way, and then we'll talk about it. Alright, so this is the whole quilt all together. I think it's pretty cute. It's about 42, 43 inches square. A good newborn baby size quilt. Um, to be honest, this quilt did not motivate me or inspire me. I was not feeling it until I put the hand stitches around the star, and then... That's when it all came together for me, and also whenever I put the name, the baby's name on it. Other than that, um, everything went pretty smooth. It was a simple pattern. Y'all seen the pattern. I have it linked down below. It was an easy quilt to do. I think the part that really bothered me was my fabric choices, but I, had, I was trying to work with what I had. So, this is what I came up with. Anyway, I think it's cute. I think the baby will love it. And I'm sure he, the baby will not care about fabric choices. Um, other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. We have hit 3,000 subscribers. I am so super excited. If you are here and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that little bell notification so that you can be notified every time I post a video or when I go live at 7 p.m. on Friday nights. 7 central <laughs> also join the facebook group um we have a lot of fun things going over there we're doing some exchanges but you have to be in the facebook group also um instagram all the things are linked down below and that's about it i'll see you guys next time bye